I need more of this brand because I only have one. So if you want to know what brands and bags I need more of besides one, stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and uh, thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave. And over here we talk about handbags, accessories, some hauls, maybe a vlog or two. So if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button down below. And Cammie from Cammie's Closet loves when people put lipstick on. So I don't have any on, so let's try this. This is for you, Cammy. <laughs> Never done that before. Bag of the day is my Lulu Lemon in the color Raspberry, and this is the two liter size with the two double zippers in silver with the back zipper. I believe the two liter is probably my favorite because it fits all my essentials that I take, including my Amazon fan right there. And I'm just using my dress up your purse card holder and I can fit my sanitizer and contacts solution and my keys. And they have the gussets right there so your stuff doesn't fall out and my phone fits perfect in the back. So for some reason right now it's so hot, I just want something light and smaller to carry for the week. And yes, it is 4th of July week and I'm carrying pink. I know. I, I might switch. <laughs> if I go somewhere, I'll probably switch to a red or blue bag. Who knows? <laughs> but for now, I'm in my Lululemon 2 liter belt bag. Okay, so what is this video about? Basically, Lo from Lo Ye Ye did this video and it is one and not done. Basically, brands that you have tried, but you only have one bag in that brand. And so I have four that I would consider buying another one in that brand. So that is the video. I will link low down below her video. And she said, go ahead and do this. And I was like, yeah, there are four bags and brands that I need to explore more. And let's just start off with the first one. <clears throat> I got this one in a trade from Jackie and I have thoroughly enjoyed this Tory Burch bag and I love the metal detail with the leather. This originally was Yoda Styles, who also has a channel. I will be linking all the, the YouTubers that I mentioned down below and Yoda sold it to Jackie and Jackie traded it with me. So I had never bought a Tory Burch. None of them have appealed to me. Like, I think I like their leather um, Kira bag and some of their colors they've come out with are really pretty in leather, all leather. So that would be my next buy if I was gonna get another Tory Burch. But this bag is similar in size to the Pochette Accessoire from Louis Vuitton. <clears throat> so looking at this bag, the tag calls it the T Monogram Jacquard Studio in Hazelnut. So if you're ever looking for this particular bag, that's, this is the name of it. And I need more Tory Burch in my life. I feel like I've heard their quality is really good for the most part. Now I don't know... You know, every brand is different when it comes to their quality of construction. And I feel like some of the older bags are constructed a little bit neater and nicer. And the stitching looks amazing. And this stitching is amazing. And the gold hardware with this is perfect. So, and it's super lightweight. But yeah, Tory Burch is definitely a brand I need another one in. 
this next one might not be a surprise because I have talked about this Metro shoulder bag from MZ Wallace. As you can see, it is so light, I can just hold it with one finger. <laughs> this is the most easy, comfortable carry of this type of bag that I've ever had. It's so lightweight. I love the coloring, the stitching. I even like that they did the the vaquetta on the top, the zipper pull, and on the bottom shows you oh, upside down. <laughs> MZ Wallace. Yeah, and then it and then they come with the extra little pouch inside. They come with these pouches for your your catch-alls. I really like that light interior. This is a bag that I keep going into. So I really want another style. I just don't know which one and which print. Um, but yeah, MZ Wallace that I'm new to, I, I am a big fan. So if you ever get a chance, try one of, of these. They're super lightweight. This one holds all my essentials. I can't say enough about it because that's why I want another one. This one is my Ralph Lauren Asheville Satchel that I thrifted for $17. Now, I hope I can thrift another Ralph Lauren bag like this for $17, but I doubt it. But I love the detail, I love the leather, the handles, everything is just beautifully stitched, feet on the bottom. I enjoy this bag so much, even though it is a big bag, this, is one of my top big bags that I like and I like to carry them to doctors and I can throw everything in the kitchen sink inside <laughs> so definitely another Ralph Lauren would be on my radar and the last one would be another Marc Jacobs bag sack duffel tote <laughs> any of those I am interested in but this is, of course, the vintage Carly Q crossbody, and it's just a little bag, like a little evening bag. I just showed this, I believe, and yeah, the, the magnet is strong. The shoulder drops good. The leather is what makes me want the full grain leather tote or duffel or whatever. I, I think that Marc Jacobs leather quality is really nice and this one is so soft so soft to the touch um, and you can find these vintage ones carly q's for around 60 bucks i believe now this color combo i don't know <laughs> you can't find this one that much uh, mine's got a little wear on the back but you can find these for a reasonable price if you wanted a smaller bag it's it's been great so yeah this is mark jacobs i don't know what i want and i just want another one of his bags so thank you lo for saying just go ahead and do it because i do have brands that i do want to explore more bags in their brand so this was a good video if you want to do it feel free to uh tag me and Lo for sure Lo <laughs> and if you have one and not done style and bags then do this this video I, I will watch it <laughs> and I would like to hear what the reasons why as well so yeah I'm just finishing my no by June I have succeeded <laughs> it is now July 2nd and I bought a bag. <laughs> I got through two days, well, I guess one day and a couple hours, and I bought a bag. And it was not on the list of bags I've been looking at, so it'll be a surprise. So you need to subscribe to my channel to see what I bought in July. Finally got a bag. <laughs> Finally, because I did my no buy June and that was successful. I'm probably going to do it again later in the year. I enjoy talking to you all and I feel like some of you were being strong like me. Because, man, 
you could spend thousands and thousands a month on a purse and then or put debt you know yourself in debt for for a purse i just don't want to do that i want to pay everything off and be more mindful of what i'm buying and i actually just sold a brighton bag another brighton bag so i thrifted this one for 15 dollars uh probably a couple weeks ago and it just sold this morning and i made 77 dollars on the sale after poshmark fees so i'm telling you right now if you're looking for a purse go to your local thrift stores especially if you're a reseller like i am you can find some real treasures that people discarded or just want to donate they don't want to take the time to sell it to list it to do all the things well then that's what i'm here for <laughs> oh yes another brighton bag so if you see brighton um those sell pretty well and this one probably only took a couple weeks to sell. I want to say maybe I had to clean it. The interior had some dirt uh, that we had to clean. And there was a little bit of corner wear, but these bags sell for over $300 new. So I, of course, marked it down because of the, the wear. I mean, it wasn't a lot of wear but it's manageable for people that are wanting to get a better deal. So that was awesome. <laughs> and I think that's all I have for today. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. And I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. And uh, just chuck it along. And if you have any requests for a video or a view on something that I, that I have, you can go back in my video catalog and... Uh, look for certain bags and if you want a further review just type it down in the comment section below and let me know if you did the no by June as well and if you bought a bag in July let me know down below I'm curious <laughs> so thank you all for stopping by and watching and I much appreciate you all and until next time I'll talk to you soon bye